it's Lori here today with my wax basket for the week. So if you're following along with Drew's collab, this week's theme is vendor of your choice. So we are doing two different vendor weeks and this is the first one. The other one is coming up in a few weeks, so stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are following along. I will put a link to all of the channels that are involved in the original collab down below so you can check them out as well. But please feel free to join us. It's been a lot of fun. I know a lot of you are joining along. So this week is you pick wax from just one vendor. There were a lot of different reasons why people were picking a certain vendor. Maybe they wanted to try their wax because they haven't tried it in the past or it was their largest collection and they wanted to use up some of it. Some of it was their smallest collection. So it just really depends on why, you know, whatever <laughs> the reason was for somebody to pick their first collection or their first vendor. For me, this should not come as a shock to anyone what my first vendor is. This is my first vendor in general. She's my number one vendor. And so I decided to melt her wax because, because she is my number one. I have the most wax from her. And I have been going through my collection and looking at things that I've had for a while and trying to use up the scents that are from March of last year and earlier just to keep the wax moving, try it, see if I wanna repurchase it, that kind of thing. You know, things tend to fall towards the back of the drawer, you know, even though when you get new stuff in, you might try to, you know, rearrange it so that it goes underneath. No matter how hard I try, things fall back to the back of the drawer and I'm like, oh, I didn't know I had this. <laughs> so it gets overlooked sometimes. And so I wanna make sure that I'm using up that wax from March and earlier. So yeah, so this, because she's my number one vendor and I have the most wax from her, I decided to go with hers this week and the next vendor might be a little bit more of a surprise to you guys, but I wanted to do one that wouldn't be a surprise and one that probably will be. So this vendor for me is L3. Again, no shock there, but I decided to melt her wax this week and really enjoy some great scents from her. So let's jump into, let's do the living room first just because it's all spread out in front of me. Honestly, this doesn't look like a lot now that I'm looking at it, but I did have some scents that are left over from last week that I didn't use because it was, you know, use scents that you love or your favorites. And if it was doing well for me in the warmer, I didn't change it. So there are probably some that are L3. I'll just carry them over to this week. I think that'll work out if I, you know, if I need some extra scents. I do have some loaves in here, so it's not like I'm going to use up all these loaves. But I don't tend to melt them more than once in a week. Uh, you know, the scents, just because, unless it's my bathroom or bedroom, but in my main living space, I don't. All right, let's jump into to some cut loaves. You'll see this in my video. I'm filming both of these on the same day. I didn't change my shirt. So you'll see the empties tomorrow in the same um, shirt and everything. And I talked about this a little bit. I have different glasses on than I typically wear. And this is actually a less strong prescription, I guess. And so it's, I don't know, I'm having a hard time reading things up close. Really interesting. So bear with me. I know it's kind of goofy. I'm like holding things way far away <laughs> trying to read it. But anyway, all right. So this first one is here's Jenny, pumpkin, pecan, waffles, pretzel, bakery bomb, blom. Yes, <laughs> bakery bomb. So I have used this, I cut it up. So we'll use some more of that. And I have my little bin over here. I'm going to stick them in. All right. I don't want everything to avalanche, but it might. Okay. So this was a custom that I did. It was just off of her scent list. I wanted to try it. It's banana pudding. So yeah, I definitely want to use some more of this up. This is really, really nice. But this was from, was it March, I think? So yeah, it definitely falls in that parameter. Not all of them do, but yeah. All right, late night cookie therapy. This is cookie therapy, blueberries, and is it sweet cream? Yeah, <laughs> so we have that one. I have another cut up loaf is strawberry pound cake, don't cross streams. Her strawberry pound cake is probably my favorite. So yeah, I like this. I think I just like it by itself a little bit better, but you know, either way, it's really nice. All right, we have 
some of these little bunts from the cookie therapy i believe it was sampler this is bad breakup cookie therapy who needed them anyway right yes cookie therapy danish butter cookies and lemon cream so i have two of these that'll go in my warmers do another one here i have this camping cookie therapy toasted and mallows graham crackers cookie therapy and hint of cocoa I have this Christmas cookie therapy, which is eggnog cookie therapy and a hint of gingerbread. And then I have, oh, these aren't from cookie, but these are little bunts. I just have one of each of these sugared shortbread, buttercream, frosting, and Hufflepuff. And then this is the Burrow Hufflepuff, which says fresh baked cinnamon rolls with extra brown sugar and vanilla frosting. Okay, another custom that I did that I haven't... I mean, I've used a little bit of it, but man, it feels like I have a lot left. This is Blonde AF Ditzy Blonde Ice Lemon Danger Danish. Well, I can't talk, but yeah. So we'll use some of that. I have Funnel Cake, Fruity Pebbles, Cotton Candy, Godiva White Chocolate, Raspberry Truffle. Mm. To me, it smells a lot like the Fruity Pebbles, but yeah. All right, Cookie Therapy. I absolutely love this scent. Santa's on Keto, Pretzel, and Sugared Shortbread. So I'll be cutting into this loaf this week. And then mm, another beloved scent, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Birthday Cake. So yeah, a couple loaves. I think of both of them. All right, now my bin is overflowing. It's like it never goes back in the way that you had it the first place. I don't know. All right, this is Blair Witch. Toasted Mallow, Graham Crackers, and Nutella. And then Annabelle, which is banana nut bread, cream cheese frosting, and golden grams. Those I was a little bit like, mm. all right, this one, I really don't know. This is gummy bears, and I, I don't know. This smells odd to me, so we're going to see what it smells like melting. So this is probably going to be a nighttime melt. I will be 100% honest. It just doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't smell like gummy bears to me. I don't know. All right, so we had orange creamsicle cream soda. I have Raspberry Whip Diet Starts Monday. We have Frangelico Streusel Irish Cream Pecan Squares. I've melted this before. I loved this. And Fiero Rocher. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Whatever. It's a candy, but vanilla buttercream. <laughs> so that is good. Put those back over there. I have Ants Jam Filled Jelly Rolls. Love this. I have Berry Waffle Cone BBW Type, super strong. This is another one I'm not 100% sure on. <laughs> White Chocolate Apple Type, it really just smells like apples to me, so we will see what that comes across as. And then this is so fresh and nice. Pineapple Mango Tangerine Clementine. So these are all for my main living space. I did pull a few coffees, so let's talk about those. I have. Coffee bean, sweet bakery dough, sugar cookie dough. So I have coffee bean, vanilla bean, Noel, and cinnamon sugar. Then I have Godiva white chocolate raspberry truffles, coffee bean, and white elephant exchange. So this is similar to a custom that I did that I need to order again from her. It's the Godiva white chocolate raspberry truffles and coffee bean. So we'll see how this is with the addition of the white elephant exchange. And then this is another custom that I did. This is the original custom. It's so funny. When I was digging in my coffee coffee drawer, I was like, how is this still here? Because <laughs> I've ordered it in other forms before, you know, at, since, I should say. And so this is the original. So funny. It's the hot orange Danish and coffee bean. I know I've talk about, talked about it a million times. People have started ordering it and have liked it. They've added, I think, cookie therapy to it. I like the original, <laughs> but anyway, so this was the original, what's left of the original bag from my custom. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy that one. I was like, how does that happen? All right. For my bathroom, I have Blackberry Sweet on Paris. I have a Biolage. I actually love, I just love this scent. And so yeah, love it. That was back from her chunky like chunky samplers or whatever. And then raspberry whip tangerine lemon curd. I have that left over or have that cut up a little bit. So we'll enjoy that. Okay, so I have some fizzy scents for my bedroom here. She has the best, I, I think, fizzy pop blends. And so I did her, I feel like it was a fizzy sampler. 
This is ice cold lemon, lemon lime fizzy pop. So we'll enjoy that. Lego Tastic Saltwater Mermaid. We have Blue Hawaiian Pineapple Fizzy Pop. And a Fizzy Soda, Fizzy Soda Saltwater Mermaid. So some of those I will use. Those are also in the Saltwater Mermaid sampler. I love her Saltwater Mermaid. Speaking of which, I have some of that here. Saltwater Mermaid Frosty Fizzy Bubbly. And Cherry Blow Pops, Cherry Lemonade, and Fizzy Soda. So these will be great. I will enjoy them. I do have some scoops that I will probably use. I think I have like pina colada fizzy pop, which I have started to use. So I might put that in there as well and use that. Most of my scoops are from L3. So I have a few that I like to mix in with the fizzy pop blends. So I might mix those in as well. But yeah, this is another fun week. I mean, honestly, most of these probably could have been put into scents that bring me joy because these are all scents that I or most of them are scents that I really enjoy there's a few that I not really sure because I haven't melted them before and they smell different in the bag than I thought when I purchased them definitely that gummy bears is like the <laughs> dark horse this week I don't know I don't know what that's going to smell like honestly I'm not sure but I probably should pull out a scoop and maybe mix I'll try it first, melt it, and see how it does, but I might be mixing some scoop in with it to give it, <laughs> that's another like, maybe amp up the, like the fruity, sugary goodness, I don't know, because that's what I was really hoping for with that, kind of like maybe a sweet tart type blend, and it's not coming across that way, it's almost floral in the bag, I don't know, it's odd, so we'll see, let me know if you've melted that one before and what your thoughts were on it, I'm curious to see what other people think. But yeah, I'm super excited. Another great week of melting. It's going to be hard to change the wax because our wax typically does really, really well for me in my warmers. And yeah, I'll be in heaven this week. So let me know down below if you are going to be participating in this vendor week. And let me know which vendor you chose and why. I'm super excited to hear everybody's thoughts and watch all of everybody's video in the collab and see what everybody picked. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.